I'm Riley Harvey for VCN and this is the Thursday Night PRT Handicap Race and we're live every Thursday from 7 o'clock for this fantastic race and tonight we are joined by Kate, Kate Ouellette. Hey everyone, goodness we got a lot of people tonight, this is exciting. So Kate's come all the way from America just to commentate on this race <laughs> so um, <laughs> make sure you jump in on the chat and uh, Give some messages out to Kate and we'll be following the race as well as we can. <laughs> and providing some entrance. Already? Alright. We got a lot of Team Lou out there and I'm kind of partial to Team because I am part of Team Lou. Look at those. He's in the red. The races always start with a frantic effort from the line. Not a lot of elevation on this race per lap, um, but it will start to hire the guys out as they're making it around three laps of the course tonight. A total of 33.6 kilometers as Vivek takes the lead. And we've got Rob Stone, good Team Lou rider in fourth position currently. And some uh, names that have been here for a while. When I used to race this, I see Darren Way Ray. Oh, and look, we got Derek on here from Team Lou. I haven't seen him on here in a while. No, I think um, there's been a fair few people have made a little bit of an extra effort to come and race, knowing that you're doing the commentary, Kate. So. I feel like a star. <laughs> this is great. Thanks for showing all the support, guys. Rob takes the front of the race and eases slightly as we start into this first climb. Yeah. yeah, tell us a little bit about the course that we're on today, Riley. So the course today is based around a town called Devizes, which is not too far away from Bath. Um, it's a looping circuit. The main climb is this one that we're hitting just shortly after the start finish gate. Um, it's a little bit of a stinging climb, but it's not too long. Not too much elevation, although there's a little bit of undulation in the rest of the course. Yeah, look at them all go into the red. Yeah, this is um, not easy at 11%. Most of these guys have probably um, added a lot of weight. Some have lost some, which making it a fair even playing field. So how does that work, Kite Riley? I'm not that great at uh, explaining that. So basically we try and put everyone on the same uh, playing field at the 3.2? Yeah, yep. so we're, we're aiming that everybody would have, at the end of a race, their average power should really be at 3.2 watts per kilogram. Um, and the reason that we're doing this, the reason that this race is set up in this way is that it means that the elite riders, those guys who get to ride frequently, um, can compete on a level playing field with the, the riders who don't get to ride as frequently. Um, it just makes it a bit more interesting for everybody. The guys who are, you know, usually get blasted out the back of a race within the first five minutes will be in the mix and finishing within five, ten minutes of the um, the lead rider, the winner. See Darren Which is Ray's Darren. Just yeah. jumping off the front there. He's just back from. Uh from having surgery. Yeah, Darren had a hernia operation and the first thing that he did when he was given the all clear was sign up for the handicap race. <laughs> Welcome back, Darren. Nice to see you riding strong. So they've got three laps on this course. Yeah, so we're gonna see, well, we should be seeing that the, the riders that have gained from the handicap, um, they've, they've lost weight on the handicap should really be um, making places up on this climb. And then in the flatter sections, you'll see the guys that have um, gained weight because of the handicap. The, the weight gain doesn't really affect you as much on the flat. Um, I kind of liken it to the idea of pushing a car. You know, you can push something really heavy when it's on the flat. As soon as you start to go up an incline, it hurts. 
Yeah, so when I did this, I had to do that too. I had, I think the most I had to put on was 22 kilograms and um, that was a lot. And I felt it on the climbs. It was nice on the flats though, because usually being a smaller rider, I was always struggling on flats. So yeah, you definitely do feel the difference. I just, I try and liken the weights to um, real life things. So if you imagine that 22 kilograms is, is around about the same as carrying a full sack of, um, you know, a farm sack of spuds, not your, yes. not your supermarket sack, the whole <laughs> sack. And then jumping on your bike and doing a race with that weight as well. Yeah, that was brutal. I do miss it though. I, I was guaranteed to always get an FTP increase every time I did these races. <laughs> That's the thing, you're so close to the, <laughs> again, the, the riders, you're so close to, again, the leaders all the time. Yeah. Everybody always seems like they're just within catching distance. You mm -hmm. just put it in and and um, go with that little bit more. Yeah, I remember, you know, racing with um, Raya Usher and Will Usher, and even the one time that Rob did this, it was great because they were within sight trying to race them, you know, and yeah, I, I remember meeting bucket that right yeah it, you're right it's fun to be able to see and be with these guys these strong riders super exciting well let's settling down a little bit we've got um two lead riders off the front here tolmatso and vivek um rob stone is just currently doing a little bit of an, an individual tt in third position <laughs> which he's really good at <laughs> he enjoys, yeah he does enjoy that discipline so yes he does He's keeping pace, only about 44 meters away from these guys. Mm -hmm. um, we'll just drop back and check in and, and see who else is we got some new tonight. people that I don't know. Did I... Now, did I hear Will Usher say that Dan Benson was coming back from an injury as well? PRT um, rider? Was that true or do I have it wrong? I'm not sure on Dan, maybe. Okay. Um, okay. Maybe Will will jump in on the chat and, and let us know. Um, because he's been riding strong these last few weeks. Just check in. Looking up position four there, which is um, French rider, um, S Splash Foudry. I think Foudry is um, Marcel Bottier, I think, who's the guy who's organizing with the help of uh, Antoine Renault and another rider. Oh, They're organizing the, the, well, they do the Wednesday night um, Omnium now, oh, so wonderful. a new event that started up. It worth checking out if you've not already had a look at it. Um, there's usually four quick races, one after the other, um, and a point system. Oh, Will's checking in on the chat, saying hey. hi. Hey, Will. Wayne there is a. Uh, known for his lightning starts off the line but he's just dropping back slightly and i think that's a uh, frankie orabana there in seventh position new rider tonight with kennedy and we've got dan benson in ninth with langridge a little grouping here of some regular riders we've got anton wooters beer and martins and librix Andy folks. Hey Andy, I didn't know he was racing tonight. That's great. Oh, and Lou Rex, none other than the Lou. He's the legend. Great to see him here. Look at all those Team Lou kids out there. Andy standing out on his buffalo bike there. <laughs> those things are, they're great because of what they stand for. And I love that. And I actually got to see a real one when I was in uh, racing Unbound. Um, yeah. I was at the Trek. Oh, they call it the, it's like a camper. Um, I was there and they pulled out the buffalo bike. And oh, cool. I got, yeah, it was really neat. Cool to see. The Trek involved with the buffalo bike? Or, mm -hmm. Yeah. They were, yep. Oh, awesome. Yeah, they were there for the world cycling. Yeah. For that while we were there. Awesome. This is great to see. Matt Jones, uh, I think that's John Cook. Yep, that's John. Derek Garrett. Yes, it is. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I, I love now you're checking with me to make sure you're getting all the names right. 
<laughs> I love it when you make up names. Um, it's awesome. Um, I've been um, been uh, a little bit creative with the names recently, so I'm just checking with Kate. <laughs> I'm getting the names right. <laughs> well, I'm not very good at those either, so I can't. Uh, I can't do bad. Well, Lou Ricks and the team Lou Colors. Good to see him on here. He's uh, retired how many times now from racing? And uh, <laughs> we keep getting him to come back. <laughs> he just likes riding, doesn't he? Yes, he does, and he's good at it. He keeps all of us going, that's for sure. Barry's just in on the chat now. He's saying, um, Hey, Barry. Hoping that Darren's hernia doesn't recur. So uh, Darren's going off with typical gusto. He's giving it some beans on the front of the race. <laughs> And um, yeah, hopefully you'll, you'll be all good. <laughs> Barry. Barry's just done. Um, Barry would normally be racing. He's a regular racer in the PRT handicap, but he's done a hundred mile um, C to C, but it's not coast to coast. It's a uh, castle to coast to castle. Enjoying the um, spoils of his victory, and he got a free pint at the end of it, and maybe. Just uh, rehydrating, so. <laughs> what I really like about these races too is that they do have um, some bots in there for those people that just kind of want to join in a little on the fun and just want to get back into shape and can hang out with the bots if they need to. There's always some kind of wheel to draft off if they need it. Yeah, and, and Will tries to make it so that the Bots are in the back third of the race, so if you if you're going well, you're not going to be getting um, held up by the bots. They're just going to be they're just there, like Kate says, for support for those riders who are maybe you got a bit of a bad start or you know, had a technical and they drop back to the bots to get a wheel and get the draft. Right. Moolina there, just tucking in. And the, those who are new to RGT in the top left hand corner, you can see the drafting benefit that you get in the green letters. So, Will and Ella looking right in behind the box, it's saving up 140, 150 watts at the moment. I like that um, David just uh, commented Team Lou versus PRT. That would be fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> Usually there is a big turnout for PRT here. It's great to see this many. Some of the PRT riders are um, training towards real life events at the moment. So um, Jordan Twitter is a regular rider in these events. He's got a race this weekend, so ah. it didn't fit with his training plan to join in the race. Um, Will normally sets it up that part of their training is to hit this race. And, 39. Yeah. I think that's great. I need to talk to Dylan putting this less friendly. <laughs> I love seeing uh, Bev Usher always on. Great to see him still active. He started every quite, week. Yeah, he does the. Who rides on the he Saturdays does. and now Sundays he does. Yeah, it was yeah. great seeing that he was starting. I think it was just before I started doing my in real life um, stuff and the weather started to turn nice out uh, New Hampshire back in at home. Um, Bev was joining, which was really great. And I still see him on there, his name pop up that he signed up. So I think that's great that he's going. Good to see him. <clears throat> Kate isn't just over in the UK to do the commentary, she's over here as well for some events and to do some challenges for herself. And um, the next one that you're doing, well, you're going to go to Yorkshire and hit some of the famous climbs there, Kate. Yeah, yeah. So I'm meeting some of my RGT friends over there to do some climbing and some um, famous routes over there. So that'll be fun. Um, 
it's gonna be more of a social ride, uh, that is, just a warm up for um, the GB Duro, which is the gravel, the gravel ride for Land's End to John Roads. So yeah, that'll be, because <laughs> I think I'm gonna hit most of them again anyway when I go back through. Yeah. So I'll be probably doing those hills twice, which will be nice. And is there any of the hills that you're looking forward to hitting or? Um, I think all of them because I love hills, but I think, you know, um, mostly particularly the, um, the dales would be fun. Like just, I heard it was just so beautiful there too. Some of the big ones, uh, what would, we were talking about them the other night. What are they? I don't remember um, all the names. Um, well, you got, yeah. Yeah. I think it was Butter Tubs is one of the famous ones, yeah. and I think it was Mal Cop as well. That we yes, about, that but, was over there too. Um, and it was uh, the Rhino, Rhino's um, Hard Not Pass. Hard Not Pass is the, that. That was the big one, right? Yeah, that's the biggest one. Yep. So I've probably hit that twice. <laughs> Which is great. Actually, I did one here, one of the local ones here, the steepest one here. Um, your friend took me on it, the 16 percenter. Yeah. Yeah, that was tough. It was my first steep climb back since uh, since being back on the bike, my race. And so that was kind of an eye opener, how much fitness I lost the past month. <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm, uh, I think I'm getting it back quickly, so that'll be good. That those who don't follow Kate's Facebook page, which is uh, Kate's Adventures, or Kate's Instagram as well, um, which we'll throw in the YouTube and the Facebook group, um, then Kate's just been on done Unbound Gravel XL, um, among other things that she's been working towards. Uh, but yeah, so smashed it Unbound Gravel and... Or it smashed me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> smashed my head gave me a concussion no it wasn't that bad yeah, but I did get a concussion <laughs> uh, then I had a, a little break afterwards <laughs> and there's a uh, be moaning now how, how much fitness she's left lost but <laughs> she's still managing to drop me when we're going out on the rides kind so we're just looking um we did talk earlier on about the 3.2 watt per kilogram rule and I'm looking at Tomatso's power here and also looking at Vivek and I think it's looking like the two riders here on the front of the course are, um, are not probably sticking to that 3.2 watt per kilogram um, workout. They've not correctly adjusted or, or haven't right. got an up-to-date FTP um, because they, they should be. If they're hitting over 3.2 watts per kilogram, on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see their name. You can see that how much watts, they're put, uh, watts per kilogram they're putting out. If they're hitting over 3.2 watts per kilogram, the bar underneath their name should be going red because they should be killing themselves to get up to five watts per kilogram. They should really be, be hurting. Mm -hmm. um, the will does go through the results after the race. And whilst we have a, a podium that runs during the race, we also have a, a, a rectified, a ratified podium that gets released afterwards as well. So. I think realistically we're looking at Rob Stone being the, the leader of the race on the road here um, with Tom Matzo and Vivek here being likely to be um, disqualified. So we're going to just drop back and see how Rob's getting on. He's 300 meters behind these lead riders, but um, he's in a ITT <laughs> locked in. Um, I think, how much extra weight did he say Rob's carrying? What did he say? Eight kilos, I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. That's what he... The Rob's a strong rider, he's he does regular 24 hour rides, big endurance rides. Um, we've been uh, recruiting him to do the TTs with us, um, the team, and everyone loves to be on his wheel. So, yeah, he's a very strong rider. But he's also he's, he's a bigger guy, so he's good on the, the flatter courses, um, good on the big. Big flat courses, the TTs. Um, he's not a particular fan of the climbing, but he, he does smash it out. I did our Giro with him two years ago, <laughs> and he was um, 
Yeah, he carries <laughs> carries a little bit more weight than me yeah. without a handicap, and um, he still can drop me. Oh god, you know him and Will. Son. Yeah, it's funny. Like they they say they're not climbers. Okay. Go. Scary when he's chasing you though, because he's really fast. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So getting ready to hit that hill again. This is their uh, Rob's second lap. Right. Into the red. It says at the moment lap one of three on the top left and going just just above the rider names there. Um, but ignore that. We are into the second lap. Um, that's where my avatar is my camera bot is on the course so he's lagging behind he's going slow <laughs> what you're not on the bike pedaling away nope nope <laughs> i like it i like this because you know i'm not sitting here racing and i can watch this it's nice to see, you know you can see the the incline here especially at this 11 percent um get the full effect you know, the avatar slows down a little bit you see the get a little bit it's um really cool watch this and not be in it and actually you know, absorb all the graphics. Yeah, you can really drill down into the figures and figure out what's going on. Um, but hopefully next week it'll all change because <laughs> if plans go well. Oh wait, you guys um, are in for a treat next week. <laughs> <laughs> so with a little bit of luck, if, um, if plans and, and the technicals can be worked out then Next week, both me and Kate are going to race the handicap, <laughs> and uh, you'll have the pleasure of my son controlling the camera and um, my wife doing some commentary. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. It'll be an interesting change. <laughs> it'll be fun. It'll be fun, and it'll be lots of panting and <laughs> maybe maybe a little bit of swearing going on. Uh, Little bit whirring of tires. Yeah. <laughs> Rob coming up to the top of this climb now, not too much further to go as we've got um splash a little bit further back. Um Flash locked in with Wayne and um not too far behind them we've got Orobana and Darren Ray. So we just drop back to that group that's forming on the this road here now. See Darren making a big effort going up this yeah. climb. Oh. I love being able to see the shifting like that on there. On yeah. The avatars. It's cool. Darren's cadence dropping right down to yeah. it. Darren, I think uh, you're right there with me. We'll be battling for the lowest cadence there. There he goes. <laughs> Darren's got a little bit of a surging style on the on the bike. He's uh puts in big efforts and then he eases slightly. I've been doing these bikes some I think did he say he started last October and he's not missed one until this operation. I'm trying to see impression. I mean like I remember Andy um Picking him on the first one on this, yeah. and I remember after the race, help oh, getting shoes off. He told me that he was cramping, and he's been doing them as often as he can now too. It's just it's a real. Um, I find that's very addicting because you you are. It's um. You know you're you're closer to a lot of people, and you feel like we're all putting out the same kind of effort at that. Chase people or not to be, you know, chasing you and no one to catch you. And, and Barry yeah. was a big one with me. Barry, who's not racing tonight, he had two good excuses. I told him he should race anyway, but he's not on the bike. <laughs> but uh, we would always, you know, chase each other too. Try to stay away. Well, actually, we would chase you. You were our main goal, but we would, you know, kind of have that. We call them frenemies, friends and enemies at the same time. <laughs> yeah, tables are turned on this Thursday race, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See who's chasing who. 
<laughs> uh. Wayne trying to stick with this group. Doing a little bit of yo-yoing off the back, but got good power in spurts, Wayne, and Darren just uh That's Kennedy and Beer run there. Dan Benson. Dan's pretty good on the flat, it's got big power. Um, raced the first one of these a couple of months ago and he won the second one that he raced. Wow. The first one he was just kept on coming back. Yeah, I, I, uh, I looked him up because I thought he had been doing it for a while, but he hadn't. He just recently started to. Because we do have the virtual and then we have the ratified um, podium, we do also give out a combativity award for the rider that's been smashing it the most on the course. Um, so have you seen anyone on the course that you think's been giving it the beans? If you're really pushing hard, then um, give a shout out to them in the chat. Looking forward for nominations for the combativity award. Guys do work hard for that. It's great to see them work together, and then at the last minute, you know, do the do the sprint, try and do the sprint. At that point, I don't think I was ever able to sprint after doing the races. <laughs> I think I was on toast. <laughs> and there's a lot of alliances formed until about the last kilometer, and then it all just uh, <laughs> all friendships dissolve at that point. <laughs> crazy that bike and the cadence the way the cadence is adjusted for it so it's just slower than everyone else uh, we always comment that the drafting should be a lot more behind those bikes yeah <laughs> just look how big he was compared to the rest of them <laughs> all kind of bike <laughs> definitely a badge of honor they definitely worked hard to earn that bike yeah you not get one, Kate? I know, because uh, at that point I was doing the echelon races and I was not doing Everesting at that point. I just might have snuck an Everesting anyway. <laughs> it was cumulative for the month, so. Yeah, it was. And I was only riding during the echelon. So I shouldn't only. I was doing it for the most part. I just didn't have enough time to heal, right? Because I was. I earned a spot into the pros, so I was racing every weekend. Yes. Yeah. To rest. Look at Lou go. <laughs> Great. I believe Derek. Is that correct? There's no Derek. They're on America. the side. Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 they're they're both on the same time zone. It's not far from me. I think I saw Derek up in Massachusetts, not far from me. Riding on Strava. Yeah. <laughs> Stalking Strava. Um, so funny that I get to see you guys and ride with all of you first, and all of them are within like three hours from me. You guys first. Were you on mute when you said that? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was great. The Liebrix just out of the back of that group. He's got a gap open up 300 meters nearly. And um, Martin's may have just dropped. Oh, Martin's just dropped a couple of places there. Mulinaire and Fernando. Are in that group of bots. Um, Martin, a little bit further back. Martin's, I think, is a lighter rider. Um, does quite well on the courses that have got more hills in. 
we're looking at is what kilogram that he's pushing out there. I think he might just be easing back a little bit in this race. Easter's made a little bit of progress through the box. Are there no women in here today? Uh, isn't Gail usually? Um, Gail is usually on, but yeah. Gail's missing tonight. Um, I think Gail might have just done a Iron Man. Oh. Definitely done some event just recently. Um, IRL. But I think that's that Joe Butler. That uh, Joe Gilbert, sorry. I think Barry might jump in on the chat. I think um, Gilbert rides with Barry's club, if I remember rightly. I could just be making that. <laughs> no. We know you like doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Not too many people fact checking when I come out of these things. So. Steady works. Great to see Fernando on here. Fernando, somebody else that you dragged on tonight. I don't. I mean, I I usually see him on Team Lou or the, the Saturday Sunday rides. Um, usually see him. Obviously, I think I've seen. Maybe occasionally he's. I don't. I don't yeah. quite remember, but I do see him on the weekends with yeah. blues rides. Great to see. I don't recall him doing that handicap race in the past. No, nope. that's good. I'm glad he came. Yeah. Amazing to see all the support he came out to do. <laughs> so Tomokso and Vivek have opened up a gap of. Just over a kilometer on Rob. Rob Stone. Yeah, I think you say I mean only eight butts there. Yeah, they're um they're strong riders, but um I think, played of the game. I think they've <laughs> missed the, the memo on weight change tonight. <laughs> It's not something that's perfect, the event, but um, try and do it to compete and keep it as, as it should be, really. So, yeah. drop back, check in on Rob. Rob's rocking a low cadence tonight. I think I'm rubbing off on some of these guys. <laughs> 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 I wasn't going to say it, but I think I am. Oh. Another one of our team two uh, riders, who's usually on here, and he's on here, too. Um, but he has a low cadence too. And, uh, kind of funny, but kind of similarly, all tend to gravitate towards that. I think they pick on me because I'm the lowest, but <laughs> I say we all, um, not all of us, but. Uh, I think most of us endurance riders do the ones that ride the longest yeah and to do the and and i i i like to blame it on mountain back mountain bike background but um not really, really time that i ride i do very well and chris frame come from a mountain bike background though and and this isn't he <laughs> renowned for having the one of the highest really games. high cadence <laughs> Well, like I said, I like to blame it on that. <laughs> I am working on it. Like you mentioned a couple weeks ago, I am working on it. I think now I hold about 60, it's still pretty low. But it's better than the 45.50 that I was doing. Yeah. Oh, well, there is a personal, um, it's a personal reference, whatever you hold. And I think there's there's some um, reports that have come out of this. For those who aren't really well up on cycling, the, the 
road cycling, they sort of say that the recommended cadence is around about 90 um, on the flat and very slightly going uphill. Um, drop slightly going uphill. They reckon around about 90 is preferred. It eases the strain on the muscles and helps to clear lactic acid and waste products from mm. the muscles as well. Um, but then there is some other articles that are coming out, some of the um, reports that are coming out that are saying that it might be better if you're, if you're not a really regular cyclist than just ride into a tempo that feels comfortable for you. Um, best. We just come down that descent and we're just looking at splash in that um, that rider list on the left hand side and the distance to splash now is only about 240 meters to Rob Stone so he is trying to trying to he's not not giving up yet splash is Marshall Bottier I don't know oh I do I can So you can ride under a pseudonym on RGT um, and nobody knows who you are. But there's, <laughs> a, there's a great resource called rgtdb.com um, where you can check up on riders who ride in the RGT events and see other events that they ride in and get a bit of a feel for who they are. Oh, I think Boundary is... Boundary is something's in my mind, telling me that it's um, Marshall Potier, but I really wrong. <clears throat> Here run and Barna gather. Well, most people put that as a team like so most yeah. of us when we ride we put them in those like parentheses, parentheses. they're more like brackets, brackets. but yeah, yeah um we put like riding so tlr right and then yeah. prt they just put a dash and then prt so i guess every team does it a little different but yeah. mo for most part after the name it's usually a team but we could be wrong ones. i mean this sam could have done something different yeah uh, um, S Splash is looking like Sam Splash, and the team is Foundry. I think he rides in the same team as Marshall Potier. Mm -hmm. but, um, Sam's doing well there. Fourth, which is a say, I think that's going to look like second place um, after the uh, doping control <laughs> has been on the case. <laughs> Last lap. Last lap now. 11.1 kilometers to go. Urbana and Beer Run together. Wayne Kennedy together. I mean, looking at um, Sam Splash's results, I mean, he got, he averages about four watts per kilogram on the races. Not these ones per se, but the ones that he does. Omnium. Which were Omnium. Oh yeah, a little bit more. Strong rider. Yeah. Kennedy Wayne and Darren Ray here. Grouped together just chasing down. Urbana, just the distance there and not too far in front of them. Beer run. Uh, Kennedy and Wayne looking like they're working together there with Darren Ray as well. There's a group chasing down those two in front. Be a little back for Together. Benson and Unsworth following through. Kevin Unsworth. Longridge. Woolwich. 
Anton being chased by that pack of Team Lou Riders. Ooh. He's gonna keep them away. <laughs> Anton, those are great wheels to be on. <laughs> hey, we make regulars like be here every week. Yeah. Do what David said, you know, uh, PRT versus. Back in that group now. Getting his breath back. Derek think that was the last lap? <laughs> he probably did. Go Derek. <laughs> Make the effort to get back in. Liebrich's doing pretty well. And Moulinair. These are pretty tough to do individually. I mean, a couple of people. <clears throat> nice to have someone to share the wheel with to take a little bit of a break. Yeah. And it's good for morale as well just knowing that you're in there with somebody and you you're doing a bit of toe to toe i don't think he's far from down the east coast well, close to you is like anywhere within six hours <laughs> i know right <laughs> america's big <laughs> america's big anyone in the uk like 30 minutes max that's close <laughs> Walking distance is close. <laughs> Jump back up to the front. We've got Tolmazzo and Vivek still on the front. No surprises there. And they've got a 1.1 kilometer gap over Rob Stone. As I say, I think is looking like the virtual leader on the road. Um, Vivek, Tolmazzo. It's going to be interesting to see. Vivek's looking like he's been sitting in the wheel of Tolmazzo. Um, pretty much all the way through every time I've called with them. The bake's been in the wheel. Drop back. The bake. And you can see he's putting in the effort there. His heart rate's up at 178. Yeah. Uh, he's got a good draft save and nearly 200 watts on the back of the top mat, so there. <laughs> <clears throat> makes me wonder, I mean, I see it a lot, you know, when we have the women's races, that people just don't read what kind of race it is, what yeah. the rules are. Um, it happens. Like these. RGT at the moment are trialing out some new um, event organizer tools. Um, and not seen it yet, but we're hoping that at some point there'll be the, they have the ability to separate male and female from the data that's been added in. Right. So at some point that will be a, a default setting that you can split the races and just default not allow men to enter or default not allow women to enter. Great. It's, it's not bad when they bring the race and they don't affect it, but there are some <laughs> that go in and that's kind of... Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the, the major complaint for a lot of the event organizers at the moment when they're doing um, organized events like the 3.2 watt per kilogram and under events that are for you know less elite riders and you get some of the stronger riders jumping in it and they they might not think they're affecting the, the race by flying off the front and just doing their own thing but if a rider, if one of the other riders sees them and jumps on their wheel and they get a tow, yeah. then that's where it, does it affects it for everyone then. Right. Those riders who shouldn't be off the front get away right. on the wheel. Looks like um, Urbana and uh, Sam are together now, riding together. Drop back and check them out. Yeah, Sam and oh. I don't want to say. 
I, I, Arabana? Arabana, yeah, we'll go with that. My last name feels like it's so I don't want to attach anybody else's last name. Uh, I'll, I'll butcher it, so okay. <laughs> I'll let, that's your job. <laughs> <laughs> that's not actually my job. I know it really well. <laughs> it's not my sole reason for doing commentary, <laughs> to mess people's names up. No, it's not. <laughs> Frankie. Frankie, I think it's Frankie, Frankie. Orbana. Is that what it, it's Francesco? Francesco. Francesco, yeah. yeah. They, they were in, they joined in the PRT. So PRT also have a Discord group that runs during these races. Um, it's an open Discord that anyone can join in with. I get lapped. And um, <laughs> it's a good group to join in with. You get to hear everybody else suffering at the same time as you are. Um, worth jumping in um but frankie was on there earlier on asking some questions about the race and how it worked so if you need info on the race then place to get that well and just general info that the rgt guys are pretty helpful guys in general mm -hmm. and um you working together to try and catch rob get a good gap on them the gap would come down with um, Sam splash on his own down to about 210 meters. It's gone back out to 420 now. That was on the climb, just finishing the climb. So, True. Yeah, yeah. So now we're on the flats here. This is the last lap. Yeah. Jump. Uh, Tormatso and Vivek. Tormatso is now putting the hammer down, dropping Vivek. Um, dropped him earlier on, so you'd be dropping him and easing off. Back. Tiring him. Yeah. I think I'm tired, so that. One snap. got five. And the bait is going to wave like that. Is that to us or to the uh, <laughs> to Tomatso? Tomatso hammers it now. 4.7 kilometers oh, left wow. to go. Oh wow, look at that. Power. Well and truly snapped the elastic part to the bait there. David Brookusen was on the chat earlier on. Um, David's usually a regular on the PRT handicap, but he's sacrificing the handicap races to go out in real life for sunshine. Nah. It's disgraceful that people do that. <laughs> Abandon How their dare they? <laughs> <laughs> How dare they go outside? <laughs> Just because sun's out. <laughs> I know, I think. This is the longest I'll be without my trainer, now uh, that I've been off the trainer, since I've had it. So I've become one of those lazy, I, call, I say lazy cyclists, because it's just, you roll out of bed and it's right there and you kind of jump on it. Like, yeah. Versus grass, getting outside, putting all the gear on. Yeah. So, really. <laughs> yeah well, I do the same, but it's more when you're time squashed and you just, yeah. And you're guaranteed, because there's nothing worse than going out on a ride and knowing that you've got to be back for a certain time, and then doing something like getting a puncture. That's <laughs> just been <laughs> trying you're to speaking speed from change. Experience. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and then the phone starts ringing. <laughs> you said you'd be back. <laughs> It'd be fun to uh, to watch the. Uh... It's seven, eight, nine. Okay. Yeah. Aaron. That's Paul, right? There's that. Um, we'll go with Paul. Uh, let me look. Because <laughs> I don't Paul, want Patrick, Peter. 
Peter. <laughs> Peter. Ah, uh, see? What was that? <laughs> Sorry, Peter. It'll be fun to watch those three. Yeah, that's going to be good. You can see that they're starting to battle already. Yeah. Power numbers turning red there. Well, Matt, so been crushing it for the last two kilometers. Been in the red, pretty much. Opened up a gap to 370 meters already on the fake. Fake thought it might have been um, racing a, a canny race as he was sitting in the wheel of Tomatso <laughs> most of the time. I thought he might have been saving his energy for the end. Um, Tomatso's six watts per kilometer. So heart rate's only 154. That's it. No cadence though. Powers at that heart rate, <clears throat> not unless the heart rate monitor was, monitor was broken. <laughs> and enjoying the suffering of the hardcore RGTers. <laughs> uh, it's so Dave, true. David, you need to get on for next week. I'm going to race next week, so that's a really special occasion. Yes, it is, and, and so does Barry. Barry has to make it on. David's got to make it on. I learned all my uh, Team Lou 2. Team Lou. Team the dive jump on. Jacob on. <laughs> Jarvis. Jar Jarvis, yeah, that's cool. Jarvis, okay. <laughs> well, no, it was Jason, right? You called Jason, him Jason. Justin, Justin all sorts of things. All kinds yeah. of names. <laughs> and all the names I was saying, I know that's not right. That's not right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, there in the end. <laughs> we'll have to get a lot of PRT on too. Just uh, both. Yeah, hopefully we'll make a guest appearance as well. Will, Will Usher is the guy who organizes these races and sets them up. And um, he's the head of PRT. Um, the nice fast ride. He likes the sprints at the end. So, yeah. I like those too. Yeah. Right. Well, Matt, so we're just easing right up now with 700 meters left to go. I'm gonna bring his average watts per kilogram down. Unusual racing technique. <laughs> Going to an end. <laughs> That's nearly happened with Mark Cavendish today, didn't it? In the elite racing. Uh, yeah, that was amazing to watch. They all came to a slow crawl, almost a walking pace. Yeah. And then they took the first break. Gatcher yeah. and uh, Van der Poel in Tour of Flanders. But Pagacha was winning. Um, looking like he was going to win anyway, and he had uh, Van der Poel on his wheel, and they, they didn't take even turns. Gatcha wouldn't go through. As Vivek now closes the gap on Tomatso, <laughs> and must be him. thinking to himself, "I've got the win here." Vivek comes through. Tomatso yeah. presumably has decided to step off with 100 meters to go. Well, he probably knows that he's not going to win anyway because they haven't followed him. Yeah. But even so, it's bizarre. Kind of. <laughs> it is bizarre. I wonder if he thinks it's a ranked race and he's uh, trying to preserve his ranking or not change, not alter his ranking. Looks like um, Bono has had some difficulty too. Doesn't oh. say Sam dropped him, but it looks like um, zero he's got power. zero power going on. Oh, I'll be, he's it's just on, maybe on a descent. Ah. Uh -uh. Vivek's coming through in first position with 120 meters left to go to the finish line. And we'll take the win on the road. As I say, all these um, positions are reviewed after the event by Will. Drop out Tomat, so still showing no power. 
got Rob Stone closing in. Rob Stone doing virtually a an ITT for the whole race. <laughs> Where he's comfortable. Yeah. Um, it was Martin for Vegas. find out with Rob when he's next planning on doing a 24 hour ride or one of his other crazy events um, we usually organize some Borrego 100 rides as well which I think we're probably due to organize one of those for the beginning of the season around August September time big one in spring March yeah in quick Rob up into second place and closing in on the finish line. Here's to go. We're there. Sprint for the finish line. Come on, Rob. Come on, Rob. Sprint. <laughs> Give us a sprint. <laughs> uh, well done. Sam's Sam coming up. Arbana lost the wheel there for Sam. Something happened. I think it maybe he was going to. a small gap when you're going over up there and given the handicapping the weight difference between some of the riders can be quite extreme so you get a gap going over the hill and the rider you're following is... Sam's giving us a sprint look at this yeah, yeah, yeah. good job yeah that gap yeah Sometimes. that we were in the process of saying before I interrupted <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the, the rider that you're following is carrying like plus 10, plus 20 kilograms. Well done. And you're you're on the other side of the handicap, losing a few kilograms. <laughs> you can um, soon see them fly away. Nice. Well, Matt, so nice. still sat on the road. We've got Darren Ray and oh, Pete Kennedy yeah. and Wayne. Uh, keep an eye out for Wayne here. Wayne's got a lot of power. So we've seen Darren good surges. Peter's probably in the best position in this group, kind of him from the biggest draft. Yeah, that's your advantage. Darren's a good sprinter too. Oh, this yeah. is, it'll be fun to watch. Battling for sixth. All slowing down, Len. <laughs> no one wants to be the first <laughs> wheel. <laughs> How far out? That was Wayne going there now. There he goes. Wayne goes. Ah, uh, there goes Darren. Oh, Pete's responding. Ah. Darren can so play Wayne, right. Yeah. Wayne's cleared. Yeah. He's going to get caught. Peter's. Oh, look at that. Closing down the gap, but it's too oh, late. Man. Darren a little bit later. But Darren just coming back from a big break of, I think it's six weeks. So that's good that racing for him. great racing for him. Comes Kevin. Right? <laughs> I believe it's Kevin. It's Kevin. It's Kevin. I don't know how you pronounce it exactly. It's um, not Kevin, but Kevin. Oh, sorry. Well, that's my English. Yeah. Kevin. English yes. accent. up there.
Ooh, look at uh, this. John Cook. <laughs> this is John. All right, who's going to go now? Look at Lou in that mix. Yeah. Woo! Captain. Oh. Lou's okay. found his sprinting legs. Langridge has gone early. Not letting him go. That's on his wheel. Hundred and seventy meters left to go, and he's opening up. The long way for a sprint. There's Lou. There's Lou pushing. Yeah, and John's right behind him. Look at them go. Come on, Eddie, get in there. Oh, Rolex going out. Go, go, go. Look at Lou. Oh, oh Lou. Lou. Go, Lou. Go, go, go Lou. Go. <laughs> Rolex and Lou. Oh, oh, Lou I took it from Rolex. No way, that's great. Oh, fantastic. Look at you Lou. guys. That was awesome sprints. Next over the line, these three. They still want to left to go. Sprinting. And while well. they came through from the back end, they were they were um, tied up in the box earlier on, so they've they've done a good ride to get up to 17th position. Yeah. <clears throat> Ebrick's going first. We're just going out four meet, four hundred meters left to go. With it. <laughs> Putting the gap on. Yeah. Yeah. How long they hold this for though? The narrow and Woods is not responding yet though. Ebrick's go. It is a long. Yeah. Jimenez next up. Long to close down Librex, but we'll be able to wow. hold off. Which is just rolls it home there. <coughs> Got back. Derek. Derek. Pushing the wheels of those bots. <laughs> Derek and um, a lot of the Team Lou guys that were on tonight racing the VCN Team Time Trial Series. Um, you can catch the details of on rgtv.com. And there's a few different teams in Team Lou. If you're interested, Team Lou have got a Facebook page that you can jump on. You can sign up with Team Lou and they'll um, find your place in one of the teams, all different levels. Well done, <clears> Derek. So he claims to be more of a runner, but he's a strong cyclist too. Run into it. <laughs> he's fast. I don't know how he does both, but he does it. This is coming from you who's trying to do a triathlon. <laughs> when, when's your triathlon coming up? Uh, September, when I go back. I think it's two weeks after I get back. Um, What, are you doing the full distance? No, it's a, I'll do the half. Yeah, huh? It's, it's, I can't. It's, it's not worth bothering with. <laughs> uh, do we have a left? We've got Bev and we've got Gilbert. Batista. Batista's back there with um, just in front Gilbert, Butler, and Usher. Still watching Barry? Then give me a shout out with um, Gilbert's first name. I think it's Joe. You know, one light with names. So. <laughs> Twice. 
Oh. Joyce Gilbert. Yep, told you it was Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> Batista's got 1.8 kilometers to go. Carlos? So this road that we're riding on at the moment is a, a magic road and the magic roads are all created from a type of plot called a GPX plot which um, most cycle computers download GPX plots for you ride a road in the old one and then you can create it in the RGT magic roads feature um, doesn't faithfully recreate the scenery but it's getting better and I think we are not too far away from having some extra scenery packs um, added this is the standard scenery pack and kind of like as an Spanish scenery <laughs> and we've got Europe Europe in springtime which is um, cobbled and rainy um, but we think we've got maybe some alpine scenery coming and um, possibly some more um, sea that was being talked about that would be great uh, Darren Ray's on the chat, um, just finished his race. We spied you Darren, you did fantastically. Darren's just commenting that he made it through to the end. Um, you did You did more than that Darren, you, made, you did a good race there as well. Yeah, absolutely. The big sprint at the end from Wayne. And Peter. How's your fitness feeling, Darren? Are you, are you feeling like you can uh, climb the stairs now, or are you just gonna have a little lie down on the cold floor? Send to John Groves. Okay. You, yes. you practiced any of that on RGT or? Oh, that's the one route that I haven't. Either. No, I didn't do any. Feel pretty confident. That's kind. Of... But I, I, I think. Oh, Alex. And you know, everything's so new. Um, I'll be careful. So, I think it'd be more mental if I don't finish yeah. <laughs> than anything else. And I'm to stick to the left ones, <laughs> right? Uh... <clears throat> Darren's just commenting that he's, um, he's pretty hot, but uh, he's done better than he thought he would, and his FTP is lower, I guess. Mm -hmm. Did you do a fresh FTP when you got back onto the bike, Darren, or have you just gone off your old FTP? So Joyce is uh, representing the women tonight. Lady on here tonight. Yeah, we usually have Lou Galling and um, Katie Warren. Which are also PRT. They are PRT, yeah. yeah. I think Lou is um, hit and miss when she makes it work and again I think some of the RT riders are um, working towards their IRL event so Nikki Korzak as well is usually the rider that well nice I always like seeing yeah do I have enough of them on RGT I love about 
can be. I do remember the first time I did read getting to Dickens. I realized that. <laughs> Not in a bad way. <laughs> you guys are very welcoming. Everybody on the RDT platform is very welcoming, very supportive, and encouraging. So it would be great to see. There's a few yeah. more women. Um, Women centric is that the right phrase? But there's um, Westerly VR have got the Ladies League going. Yes. Um, React have got a women's team, yeah. women's e racing team going. Um, which yeah, also. Ladies, Lou. ladies Team Lou, yeah. yeah. Um, but the React, so Ladies Team Lou, as I said before, Facebook page, Team Lou, um, jump on there and become a member of Team Lou and get involved with. The events that go on around Team Lou. Um, but the React as well, if you go on the React Instagram page, um, they are supporting ladies through um, training plans, etc., to get them into e racing. But they can only support so many ladies for the team, but they are doing it on a much more uh, wider basis. So if you're interested, if you're a lady and you're interested in getting into racing, they will help you. They just won't be able to be part of the team. Well, right. You may be one day, but not at the moment. Right. And Dave Morrison is the one that does the Western London, Westerly London races. It's West London. West London, yes. My Thank misspeak. You. Yes. <laughs> West London races for Dave Morrison. Yes. Um, which you. you can get through. He's got his own page, West London Facebook page, and he has got the um, page on RGTDB as mm -hmm. well. Oh, Whoa. Butler just went flying past Yay. Gilbert there. Ah. They snuck up. Yeah. Um, we do have a um, ladies RGT group where we do post a lot of those races too. I've been a little quiet on it lately, but um, Wendy Gallagher, who's also, she's part of REAC, the yeah. women's team, she'll post on there too. Um, so great to get more. Well, we're just over. Yeah. So it'd be great to see them to start participating more in these things. Yeah. So, like I say, I think there's um there's a little bit of a mental barrier. So, mm -hmm. um, participating in the mixed events. But I know Wuta Wuta Clays, who yes. is Moon Riders, um, he's developed some um, software to separate out the results, and so you can do um, races that run combined with male and female, but have separate. Categories. Um, categories, yeah. That would be wonderful. I think that is. I mean, I personally love racing with the men because it makes it just me better. Yeah. But it does intimidate some, some women, I think, yeah. too. So it's it'll be great to have the opportunity to all women or race with the men and then have a separate category for the women that want to have a separate category. Yeah. I mean, just making the point as well, I did mention Woods Clay, it's um, the software that he's done is. Um, accessible for anyone. There are awesome. other event organizers that do do that. It's just that Woods has done it more recently, and um, it's a very easy bit of software that he's developed. So okay. even if you do it already, you might want to look at Woods's um, software to make it easier. For you. But you run some ladies only races on mm -hmm. the Facebook page, don't you? What's we did. Um, we haven't recently because a lot of people have not taken. Um, and I can't do that like we were doing clinics for uh, teaching them how to draft a couple of um, just learning like racing tactics stuff or even just practicing just getting them on just to do group rides was fun too and answering any questions that they had if they had any or any hesitations um, sometimes they're even afraid to speak up in the Facebook group to mention what they need help with and so I've always offered to send me messages and they do, so do. Um, but sometimes it's just giving them a pride and seeing how fun it is and then letting them ask questions there too so it's it'll I'll definitely once the fall comes pick that up again turbo season yeah turbo season I would love to be able to I mean obviously traveling is a little tough but I would love to Summer, that consistency, but it's kind of hard to do that here. Trainers up here, so and when I'll be out in the wilderness without Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, 
yeah, it would be great to be able to. Seamus. Seamus. We say Seamus. Well, we'll, yeah. we'll go with Seamus. Yeah, <laughs> Seamus Butler coming in now. Hello. Chat's coming through on different platforms now. Huh. On Facebook. That one. Lou Ricks is, always says that he doesn't like hills and he's uh, getting called out for it now because he was flying <laughs> up the hills. Seamus just puts nice. in a little sprint for the line there. Oh, nice. John Cooks just mentioned that he's uh, really, really enjoyed being 70 kilograms for the night as well. <laughs> He's been doing a lot with the um, the Teen Time Trials, um, with that too, hasn't he? Racing that and yeah, yeah. I mean, there's been some really good um, participation in the Teen Time Trials on Team Luke. Yeah. So, I think during the during the winter, I think there was five or six Team Lou's teams yeah. running. Um, still a few running, but there's a few just taking a little holiday for the summer season. Yeah. Joyce comes over the line. I'm Joyce. I have put down some red there. No red. Darren just said he, he did a new, F, a new FTP test yesterday, so I'm wondering what his FTP at. How many points did you drop while you were ill, <laughs> Darren, while you were off recovering? I think it was six weeks and no, yeah, yeah, no or minimal exercise. Just look at the bikes now, is it? More observation by it. I don't know if it's just the Evo bike, but I think they used to have a Wahoo computer on the front of them, and it looks like it's been um, been changed. There's not all of them. Oh. I've, not, I've not spotted it tonight on any of them. Well done, Bev. Bev over the line, crushing it. And only Mila. <laughs> Go Riley. <laughs> Look at that steady cadence. Look at that power. Uh, look at Absolutely you. flawless. <laughs> I'd love to have that heart rate. <laughs> I could go all day with that. Uh. So guys, um, that's it for us. Uh, we're gonna bring the stream to the end in a moment. Um, it's been great having Kate over. So as Thanks I say, What's your Facebook page, Kate? That's K and the number eight, apostrophe S adventures. Cool. And you're going to be updating everybody about your my trip for here in England. Um, so I'm here until September 12th, and um, there's a lot of epic rides that I'm going to be doing here, um, and including Kielder and hopefully Dirty Raver. Is that how you guys say it? Yeah, Dirty, dirty Raver. Yeah. Dirty. Riva. And I'm going to be working on my accent while I'm here <laughs> as well. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing uh, a lot of those and then um, the, the steep road, you know, doing some, some really cool epic routes while I'm here. So follow along. Great. Cool. Yeah. yeah. It's always good to watch. See what you're up to. And I'm more active there than on Instagram. I will my post on Instagram. Yeah. Facebook. Is so it's more, it's most places K8. Yes, K8 um, for wellness on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Good for that. No problem. Thanks for having me along. And hopefully next week everyone can join us um, for a little treat with Riley and I racing <laughs> while little Will does the uh, camera work and as Caroline, um, Riley's wife, does the commentary. Yeah, could be an interesting <laughs> one. Uh, we'll see how that goes. It'll be fun. Might not be able to hear anything over me um, panting and uh, <laughs> shouting, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how we get on. Um, <laughs> just before we go, Darren's just given the shout out. His, his um, FTP was 258 before his break, and it's gone down to 225 now. So that's um, lost that's 20, no, 33 yeah. watts. Gotcha. Yeah, that's. 
He'll get it back. I yeah. mean, he's got a good baseline. He rides regularly. Like I said, I saw him every weekend. I mean, he was always smashing it on the team when he rides. Um, usually one first or second group. You know, he's always yeah. in front. So he'll catch it. He'll get it back. It's yeah. not going to be hard for him to do that. That's a big drop, to be fair. That's, that's it's not good. a big drop. Um, and he rode really well tonight. Yeah. He did a really good job. Smashed it. Yeah. I was surprised awesome. to see he was that far up in the front. Yeah. Expecting him. I think that's why he did the FTP test yesterday. But he made the most of the um Yes. Most of the handicap. <laughs> Correct. Smart that he did. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna bring it to an end now. Um hope you've enjoyed that guys. If you are watching and you're um you're looking for some discounts on some equipment, um maybe it'd be uh big bike purchase or you're just going to get yourself some nutrients then recommend that you head over to precision-rewards.co.uk and you can pick up some discounts there for free um, all different discounts on there for things like talk you perform specialized wahoo um, basically anything cycling related which is from precision rewards um, it's organized by will who organizes these these races so all the stuff's been tested by the PRT team um, so it's all good stuff you know that you're going to get something in a load of junk that comes up at your doorstep um, so hope you really enjoyed it guys and we'll catch you next week for special one-off racing edition <laughs> and uh, hope there's as many as you as can jump in and join us on that and you have a good night good night everyone